हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू टुडे इंग्लिश क्लास ऑन मधुबाब डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द आवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम मॉडल्स लेट्स वी हैव टू डिस्कस द यूज ऑफ अदर मॉडल्स टुडे वी शल रिकल व्हाट वी हैव लर्न इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास Let's know, students. We have discussed about the use of shall, should, will, would, may, and a might. You have to know it well. Again, we have discussed about the use of the plural shall. It is used in the place of plan future, permission. सजेशन प्रमिश प्रेडिक्शन एंड गिविंग एन अर्डर एगेन वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट यूज ऑफ विल विल कैन बी यूज इन द प्लेस ऑफ प्लान फ्यूचर विलिंगनेस मेकिंग ए रिक्वेस्ट और गिविंग एन अर्डर प्रेडिक्शन प्रमिश जेनेल फैक्ट डिटर्मिनेसन and a present habit dear students let's know the other use of other models we also discussed about the use of should should has been used in the place of giving advice or opinion to express wish to talk about a probability and to express duty or necessity we also have discussed about the use of modal would would can be used in the place of past habit request probability polite request suggestion or invitation willingness and a refusal you have to remember it well again we have discussed about the use of may it is used to give or seek permission and a factual possibility again may can be used to expression of a wish we also have discussed about the use of the modal might might can be used in the place of remote possibility and a past purpose dear students today we shall discuss the use of other other models such as can could must dare need and a used to Let's discuss the use of modal can. Can can be used in the place of a present ability. Dear students, we can use the modal can in the meaning of a present ability, such as I can read this letter for you. Again, he can run like a deer. Okay, students. Again, another use of can is to express possibility, such as anybody can make mistakes. This is the use of modal can. You have to remember it well. Dear students, let's know the other use of modal can. Can modal is used to give. or seek permission when we give permission we use a positive sentence such as you can go home now when we seek permission we use an interrogative sentence such as can i go there this is the other use of modal can again we have to know another use such as willingness can 
is used in the place of willingness such as he says he can come to the meeting another use to make a request such as can i come tomorrow again can you consider this suggestion this is the use of modal can dear students let's discuss the use of modal could could is used for past ability example she could sing well it was her ability and when she was 4 years old it refers past so could is used for a past ability another use another example he could run fast when he was at a school another use of could is polite request when we make a polite request we use the modal could example could you direct me the way to railway station another example could i come in sir this is the example of polite request you have to remember it well okay children let's discuss about the use of modal must must is used to express duty compulsion or necessity you have to remember example we must help the poor this is the example of our duty another example you must pay the fine for avoiding the examination this is the example of compulsion another example of necessity you have to know a student must study hard this is the example of a necessity dear students let's discuss other use of modal must must is used to express obligation or command and a prohibition example you must report for duty at 10 am this is a command another example of prohibition students must not work on the lawns this is prohibition dear students let's discuss other use of must must is used to express a conclusion or inference example she must be joking this is the example of conclusion and what is the example of inference we have to know look that must be the postman it is inference means guess another use of must is inevitable truth dear students let's have a look on the examples the first example is man must die one day and another example is a man affected with blood cancer must die dear students let's know the other use of must in the meaning of prohibition we use in the meaning of prohibition mustn't example you mustn't read other people's letter okay children let's know more things about the use of modals such as in order to change must into negative we can use must not must not or needn't must not means a negative compulsion you have to remember needn't means the absence of a compulsion dear students it is an important thing you have to remember it example 
you must not shout in the class my dear students let's discuss about the use of modal ought to ought to is used to express moral obligation or duty let's have the example you ought to respect your teachers another example we ought to help the handicapped it is our duty another use of ought to is to express strong probability dear students you have to know it well example he has worked hard he ought to pass this time okay children another use look at the car it ought to be your uncles dear students let's discuss the use of modal dare dare is used for negative and interrogative sentences when we make negative and interrogative sentences we use the modal dare look at the examples he dare not stand before his father it is a negative sentence and another is how dare you tell me it is an interrogative sentence let's know the use of modal need need is used as a main verb and as a modal verb it is used in two places as a modal verb it is used with a plain infinitive only in negative and interrogative sentences example need i come again remember this and another example is you need not worry about it this is the example of negative and interrogative sentences another use is when it is used as a main verb dear students look well it has the regular forms such as do you need to go to your village another example i do not need to go to my village at present and when we use need as a main verb the example is i need your help in this sentence need is used as a main verb okay children dear students let's uh, we discuss about the use of used to it is used for a past habit when we have a past habit we use used to and uh, now it is discontinued past habit which is discontinued now for that we use what used to okay children let's know the examples he used to work all through the night in his youth it is past habit but it is discontinued now another example gandhi used to be shy when he was in school the last example is i used to play cricket when i was a child okay children let's discuss some questions what we have learned today dear students first fill in the blanks using suitable modals or modal auxiliaries a my father does speak three languages okay you are right the answer is can another question your answer does be wrong remember the formula children okay you are right 
द आंसर इज वूड एनादर क्वेश्चन मैन डस डाय वन डे यस यू आर करेक्ट द आंसर इज मस्ट डी यू डैश टेक केयर ऑफ योर चिल्ड्रेन टेल मी चिल्ड्रेन ओके यू आर हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट ऑट टू आंसर इज ऑट टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन और क्वेश्चन नंबर ई इज ही डैश कम हियर ऑन हॉलीडेज टेल चिल्ड्रेन ओके यू आर राइट नीडिंट द आंसर इज नीडिंट ओके चिल्ड्रेन लेट्स डिस्कस अनादर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर बी फाइंड आउट द मीनिंग ऑफ द मॉडल्स यूज्ड इन द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस गिवन इन ब्रैकेट व्हाट एज गिवन इन द ब्रैकेट लेट्स नो पास्ट हैबिट ड्यूटी प्रेजेंट एबिलिटी एंड पास्ट एबिलिटी लेट्स डिस्कस द क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन आई कैन राइट करेक्ट इंग्लिश टेल मी स्टूडेंट्स येस यू आर राइट द आंसर इज प्रेजेंट एबिलिटी देन वी शैल डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ही कुड रन फास्ट वेन ही वॉज एट ए स्कूल टेल मी वॉट इज द आंसर येस यू आर करेक्ट द आंसर इज फास्ट एबिलिटी देन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री आई यूज टू प्ले हियर वेन आई वॉज ए चाइल्ड टेल मी स्टूडेंट्स वट इज द आंसर येस यू आर राइट द आंसर इज फास्ट हैबिटी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर और लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज वी मस्ट हेल्प द पोअर टेल मी द आंसर येस यू आर करेक्ट द आंसर इज ड्यूटी Dear students, did you understand what you learned today? Okay, children. Thank you. Bye bye.